Yo guys, how's it going? Cobra1386 here, back for another LEGO review. Today we are looking at set 76030, the LEGO Avengers Hydra Showdown from the film Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron. And uh, so first off we're going to have a look at the minifigures, then the vehicles, and then I'm going to have a look at the instruction booklets, and um, we're going to look at the little comic that you get with that as well and then the box so if we have a look at the figures first we are going to have a look at Hawkeye first so here is our Hawkeye figure now this figure I like because he's got the new um, printing on the torso here and it flows from the torso down to the legs quite nicely and then the red arms and then the back of the torso is just kind of basic printing here but this matches up with his trench coat kind of design we see in the Age of Ultron trailer and then we've also got this new hair piece on him which I really like I think it represents the hair he has in the films more than the previous hair pieces we've had and also he has his uh, you know bow as normal for Hawkeye and then he has the alternate face like so so next up we have the almighty Thor this figure I think is really great he's got great detail on the front of the torso here then the silver arms kind of continuing on from the theme of the torso just plain blue legs, but I think that's the same as the other Thor figures, and then the same hammer as before. And he has got this new soft cape that Lego have put out recently. And then here you can see the printing on the back. Just kind of continues with the theme from the front of the torso. The only thing I don't like about this figure is the hair. I think what they should have done is if they printed the hair kind of the same colour, you can see the beard here, because they do print Lego hair pieces that colour. So if they just did this hair piece that colour, that would be much more accurate. And then you can see here, he does have the alternate face, like so. And finally, we're going to look at the Lego Hydra Henchman. Now this, I think, is a really good figure. I haven't seen if this is actually what the Hydra Henchman looked like in the film. If it is, then that's great. And even if it isn't, they're still great figures. And uh, got some good detailing on the front and the back of the torso there. This looks appears to be kind of like an armour piece on the front here and the back. And then the plain white legs, grey arms. And what I really like about this figure is you have the option, if you take his hair piece off, you have the option of having no hair because he's got kind of the printing on the back of his head which shows that you can have him as just having kind of like a face mask on and no hair but personally I prefer him with the hair like so like that so the first of the two videos we're going to look at here is the Avengers truck now this I really like for a number of reasons First being, you've got this really cool rotating flick missile mount up on the top here. It's looked really cool. I really like this. And then um, you've got the logo. I don't know if you can see it properly here. The Avengers logo on the bonnet. That is a sticker piece. But it's still really cool. And uh, then if we take the Hawkeye figure, which is the one who drives, you see here. His bow clips in to the side like this. Then I find to put the figure in, you just take this piece here off the side and sit Hawkeye in like that and put that piece back on. Now if we turn it around you can see the different angles of the truck. It's kind of the same all the way around, apart from this side you've already got the walkie-talkie here. 
on this side like that and then in the back here because this piece lifts off once you've finished your mission you stop the hydro henchman you can sit him in the back in the rear storage piece like so sit this back on like that and off you drive after defeating Hydra. Now we're going to have a look at the second vehicle in this set which is the Hydra Dune Buggy. Now this vehicle I really like because it's got the kind of different sized wheels on the front and the back which kind of demonstrates its ability to go across different you know side types of terrain this sort of thing. And then you've got this stud shooter on the top here you can probably see that's quite loose, there's a reason for that, and that shoots like that. I'll show you why this is loose in a minute. And then you've got the uh, Hydra logo up on the bonnet here. And then we've got engine in the back here, using one of the air scoop pieces. Lights on the front and the side. Now, if we fold this piece here down, take this up, you can take your hydro henchman figure from earlier, sit him in there like that, that goes down, that goes up, and we've got the hydro henchman in the buggy. Now, the main playability feature of this set is right here. This is loose because if you have Thor, you have this down slightly for this bit. If you have Thor on your super jumper, now um, before I do, go any further, I'm gonna say with these super jumpers, the they're really great kind of idea and concept, and by all means use them. But I recommend putting like little studs on the bottoms of your figure's feet before you set them on the super jumper because they. The figures fit on really tight, and um, quite a few people have been complaining that their figures have been kind of showing stretch marks and cracking around their feet where they don't fit onto these super jumpers properly. So I'm not actually going to put Thor on the super jumper to just demonstrate this because it damages the feet. But if you want to do that, by all means, go ahead. So anyway, with Thor on the super jumper, you kind of flick it. He flies up, hits that and you knock it off like so and that is how you defeat the buggy and that's why this has the cross piece here and not the normal clip piece to sit in there like that so yeah there is the Hydra June buggy now we are going to take a look at the instruction booklet and the comic book that come along with this set so here we have the front cover of your instruction book and on the back you've got the advert for the Lego website and to give feedback on the sets and then in the back cover we've got this kind of advert for the other Age of Ultron sets that you get in all the others and then if we go here you can see it's got the play features in the back and a if you show here you can see that is a 67 page booklet showing you how to build the set and then here we have the comic book that comes with it I'm just going to quickly flick through you can see like that all the pages through there and then on the back here you get kind of a checklist showing all the figures in the new Age of Ultron line the little box you can tick once you've acquired the figures so that you know when you've collected them all. Now we're going to have a quick look at the box. So here you can see is the art on the front of the box which is the same as the art we have on the front of the instruction book. And then down here we've got the Age of Ultron logo, the uh, Hydra Henchman, Hawkeye, the new Super Jumper. And then up the top here, I don't know if you can see, there we've got kind of the shot of all the Avengers in their Lego form and then on the top we've got the scale measurement of Thor and the super jumper 
and then just Hawkeye and the henchman and then on the back of the box here we have got all the action shots and playability features as normal and here you can see here shows the only thing I don't like about the way we open the sets with these boxes these kind of push your thumb in here sort of thing because it damages the box like this and that's a real shame but um yeah so I'm just gonna wrap up the video here so there you have it the Lego Avengers Age of Ultron Avengers Hydra Showdown set overall I say this is a really great set apart from a few little things like you know Thor's hair they could have printed a different colour piece for that and the super jumpers don't work that great not a big fan of them but putting those two small things aside this is a great set retailing at the moment in the UK for £19 and I think it's the same in dollars so around $19 and uh, yeah this is a really great set I would recommend buying it and uh, this is the best way to get the Hawkeye and the Thor minifigure because the only other way to get Hawkeye in this variation is with the Lego UCS Helicarrier and then here the only other way to get Thor is with the Avengers Tower and the Avengers Tower set I believe is the £50 set for this line and then obviously the Helicarrier is over £100 so it's best, definitely a great way to get these two figures plus you get the Hydra Henchman along with that so yeah a really great set and this has been Cobra 1386 See you next time.